It is important to use master pages because it makes your work as a graphic designer easier in the long run. Master pages are used to increase design efficiency and to increase the speed of editing. So I have an example here on this slide. I have two screenshots of the pages panel. On the left hand example, you can see that the B master is being used and that there is a blue circle. Let's pretend that blue circle is a logo. That logo repeats, for whatever reason, in the exact same size, color, shape, space, location on every single page within the project. If a customer comes back to me and says, I love the design, it's perfect, but I don't like the blue color, I, I want to try a green color, you can go to the B Master and just change the circle that's on the B Master page to make it green, and then anything that is applied to the B Master will flow downhill and automatically apply to all the pages that the B Master has been applied to. And so in this example, it means that all of those blue circles will automatically become green circles. If I wasn't using a master page and I had copy and pasted that blue circle onto every single page and made sure it was in the perfect location, if I wanted to change it from blue to green, I would have to go to every single page and click on the circle and then choose the green color swatch and then go to the next page and click on the circle and then go to the swatches panel and click on the green color swatch. And that's just a color change. If I wanted to change the location, I would have to move it on the first page and then copy and paste it to the next page or I'd have to go to the next page and make the same adjustment so it's in the same exact position on all the subsequent pages. Adding objects to a master page is super easy. You're going to do it the same exact way you would add objects to your regular pages in your um, document. The only difference is you have to double and triple check to make sure you're actually on the master page. And so in my example here of the pages panel, if you double click on the B master, whether you double click on the words that are highlighted or you double click on the actual page example, you will navigate to be on the actual master page which will allow you to make edits to it. And then you can use your type tool or your object um, shape tools. Technically, it's called an unassigned frame in InDesign, but you can do whatever you want or anything that you would normally do to your regular pages, you can do them to your master page. The only difference is that anywhere in this example that the B master has been applied will be affected by the change on the master page. So let's talk about how you would see those changes be applied to your project in InDesign. When you create a new document in InDesign, by default, all pages within the document will be linked to an A master. It is a master page that has two pages that is automatically created every single time you create a new document. If you wanted to work with a one page master or you just needed another master to work with, you can create additional master pages like I have done here. I now have a B master. However, once you create your new master pages, unless you do something to link them to your regular pages in your document, you will always be linked to the A master. Now there's a couple different ways to link your master page to your regular InDesign pages. The easiest way is just to click and drag. And so in this example here, I'm working on the B master. I've added my personal logo. I've modified it in whatever way I need to for my project. In order for it to appear on all the pages in my document, you need to click on the little screenshot or icon there and drag it and drop it and drag it and drop it. Now that doesn't really feel efficient if you have you know 30 or 40 pages in your document but if you only had one or two pages or if you're only using this master page one or two times it's not the end of the world. There are a couple other ways to apply a master page. You can right click on the page and you can choose to apply master to pages or you can hit the option fly out menu with the master page selected and you can choose to apply master to pages and you can type in 1 through 11 or 1 comma 6 comma 9 comma 37 and you can add whatever pages you want to be linked to that master page.